Section 9.4, Perform Rotations. We've talked about rotations before. Recall a rotation is a transformation where a figure is rotated about a fixed point. For example, if we had our Cartesian plane, so let's go to scratch work real quick. There we go. What we get is we can have an object that we rotate about a point. And not quite my best rotation. And let's look at one more. There we go. So in all these, we're rotating this quadrilateral about this blue point here. So what we see is rotations have two parts. They have a center ro of rotation, and this is the fixed point. About which an object is rotated. And it also has an angle of rotation. And this is how much the object is rotated. So in the example we had here, our first rotation was a 180 degree rotation, whereas the second rotation was a 90 degree rotation. And the rotations can be any degree, really. We could have an object that is simply rotated this much, and we'll say that's about 20 degrees. But we do have those parts. We have the center of rotation, and we have the angle of rotation. While the center of the rotation could be anywhere on our Cartesian plane, and the angle of rotation could be any number, we're going to limit our rotations to, we're going to focus with a center of rotation on the origin, and we're only going to look at angles of rotation that are 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. So this is a quarter rotation, half rotation, a three quarters rotation, and a full rotation. Like with, with reflections, we see that we have coordinate rules for what happens with these rotations. If we have a 90 degree rotation, then what happens is our ordered pair AB becomes the B and A switch spots, and the B becomes negative. So if we have a quarter turn, our coordinates flips locations, and the B becomes negative. If we have a three quarters turn, so 270 degrees. Again, our coordinates flip spots, but now the A becomes negative. So this is for a quarter rotation and a three quarters. If we have a half rotation, our coordinates stay in the same place, but both become negative. And if we have a full rotation, we're actually mapping right back onto our original form, so everything stays in the same place. And those are your coordinate rules. You're definitely going to want to write these down and make sure that you know these. They're going to help when we're going through some problems. So let's look at our first example.